Hi guys, this is the uh, preview of the uh, ice cream sandwich uh, firmware update for the uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 we just, uh, just flashed uh, uh, ROM onto the device and I'm going to be taking a look at the features so as you can see this is the wireless settings and nothing in there so you have a new welcome screen here so asking, asking me for the sim card so I'm going to be skipping that just uh, getting my Wi-Fi password in looks like it needs a active Wi-Fi uh, network So there you have it, this is pretty much the same home screen uh, as you might see in Android uh, 2.2 which the phone came with and later got a gingerbread update. So can't seem to find uh, India in the list of countries strange hmm. so this is the home screen and let's take a quick look at the browser I'm sure it's faster now due to the uh, inbuilt ice cream uh, ICS update so Just loading up this page. The page is uh, noticeably faster, and uh, you have the same touch face customization. If you can, if you can see the um, Galaxy Nexus, the plain uh, Android honeycomb uh, android ice cream sandwich experience the ui is slightly different so sometimes retain some of it uh, some of the customization from touch this let's take a look at the settings uh, screen so let's pull up uh, parallelly from ice cream sandwich follows the ice cream sandwich uh, kind of hierarchy as you can see the menus are kind of same but you have the custom Samsung options beneath there so as you can see the icons are pretty much Samsung icons let's check out the mod phone wow so the S2 now is running uh, on a later version of Android it's 4.0.3 whereas my Galaxy Nexus is running only on 4.0.1 as you can see here So these uh, seem to be pretty similar so you still have the touch with home screens let's see if you can add a home screen
We are now within the uh, message uh, compose uh, screen. Uh, we can't seem to find swipe in here. So normally when you long press uh, you get the swipe option input method type. Now you can just see the text selection. Uh, Honeycomb uh, ice cream sandwich interface. So you can cut paste. Oh, select a word, select it, and delete it. So that's the message compose screen. The phone icon seems to have changed. No, no, seems to have changed. In my opinion, phone screen seems to have phone icon seems to have changed. Mm -hmm. So, apart from that, let's take a look at the Android market. And it's signed in, so we can't see much of it. Mm. Carry. Let's see if there's something there. So it's pretty much the same stuff. So Google Plus and uh, Google Messenger, part of the uh, ice cream sandwich, integrated right now, part of the Google Plus service. So you have a dedicated downloads tab right now for the browser. Let's uh, load up a heavy. Uh, Flash any uh, home page. Let's try this out. It's going to be a mobile version. Not good. Let's try a uh, site like say NDTV. Hopefully, it loads the PC version. Or probably we'll have to click the uh, desktop link again. Oh wow, it's playing an ad. Uh, let's hear these guys. Uh, so. so there's a web edition. As you can see, it is a pretty rich web page. It has lots of content, lots of images, and uh, lots of uh, rich content. Looks like we're going to be downloading Flash. So now we are signed in, so let's go to the market. In the Android market seems a lot faster at right? downloading apps. So now, since the uh, Flash Player is installed, let's go now to the uh, browser. We can go to the full web edition. Now you're going to be seeing flash ads as well on the web page. So these are flash, and this seems to load pretty quickly. So let's do a quick uh, test between uh, 
the Galaxy Nexus and the uh, Galaxy S2 both are running on an Android ice cream sandwich but the S2 has older hardware the Nexus has a newer hardware both are made by Samsung so let's go to the same web page